This is a video about the title of the book, so in particular the subtitle, description, prediction, and causality. So to think about the difference between these three types of questions, we'll use an example where our y variable is an individual's score on the GAD-7 anxiety scale. So GAD stands for Generalized Anxiety Disorder, and the 7 is just how many questions there are. So we could first think about description. So a descriptive question, an example of a descriptive question here, would be if we look at employed individuals, what is their mean score on this anxiety scale? And maybe further, uh, how does that differ from the average anxiety score among unemployed individuals? So description is just sort of when we look at the world, what do we observe about the relationships between the variables as we see them. And these uh, are just, in many cases, statistical associations, so not necessarily telling us about the effect, but it can still be useful in sort of understanding how different outcomes are related um, and how different groups compare in different ways, things like that. We could also ask a question of prediction. In this case, we could say, okay, given that we know an individual is employed, what is our best guess of their score on the anxiety scale? And similarly, if we knew an individual is unemployed, uh, what would be our best guess of that individual's Y value? So in this case, we are imagining we're in some scenario where we know some things about either an individual or a firm or a product or whatever it is. Um, and then there's other things that we don't know but we would like to guess given what we do know. So that would be prediction. And then finally, sometimes we are interested in causality, uh, especially if we're thinking about policy analysis. So an example of a causal question in this case would be, uh, you know, what is the causal effect of employment on an individual's anxiety score? Or maybe what's the average causal effect of becoming employed on the anxiety score? So you know, if we took an individual, we kept everything the same, except we changed their employment status from unemployed to employed, um, how does that lead to changes, or maybe not lead to changes, in this Y variable? So when you're doing data analysis out in the real world, the first step is just to make sure you know actually what is the question you're trying to answer. And sometimes uh, you sort of have some variables you're interested in, but it's not actually clear what the question is. Maybe that's not your fault. Maybe that's your boss's fault. Um, but trying to think about, yeah, what is the actual question that we're trying to answer with this data analysis? Sorry, that's supposed to be a T, not an F. And then once you know the question, the next thing I would suggest is oops, sorry, P, <laughs> to think about whether it's a matter of description or prediction or 
causality. What type of question is it? Because that will then affect uh, what sort of analysis would be appropriate, what sort of methods, um, you know, if it's prediction, thinking about your loss function more carefully, uh, if it's causality, thinking about other things more carefully that we'll get into uh, later. So that would be my suggestion for where to start and understanding this description, prediction, causality uh, difference.